I like this song. Come on, Jan. It's a good song. The first time I heard this song, I woke up out of my sleep. It woke me up out of my sleep, and I woke up, and I was like, hey. Next morning, I woke up and posted it to my girl's Facebook. Mm -hmm. I like this song made me think of you last night. But uh, anyway, uh, you know, um, like I said, I'm, uh, my name's uh, Eddie Rodriguez. I actually um, work, had the opportunity to work with Pete in Houston. He started out in my office in Houston. Well, actually, we worked together in Vegas. And then um, I moved to Houston, and he uh, came out there and helped me uh, build my office or whatnot uh, from the ground up. Um, you know, Pete's actually a personal friend of mine, you know, so, um, you know, just to give you the background on him, uh, I started the business about four years back. You know, um, actually, when I started the business, it was funny because um, somebody tried to recruit me, and um, I wasn't, you know, I had turned him down initially because um, uh, it was, it was um, he was like, yeah, man. I got this job, we're gonna be working inside of a Sam's Club, you know, selling direct TV, yada, yada, yada. And at the time, I was an internet marketing consultant, so I had, you know, a job where I worked uh, nine to five, Monday through Friday in Vegas, had the weekends off, you know, sat at a little cubicle, you know, my, my, I, had, I was making a 40,000 uh, plus commission. So I was bringing in about $78,000 a year. I was doing all right, you know, in Vegas, not too bad or whatnot. And um, Malik was talking about, uh, which is uh, my promoting owner, he was telling me like, yeah, we're gonna you know start out um, selling, you know, um, direct TV inside Sam's Club, but there's potential to grow. And I'm thinking like, yeah, you know, whatever. You know, I've been to you know the little prepaid legal and the you know Primerica you know seminars or whatnot, where they're like, yeah, you know, you come in and it's multi-level marketing or whatnot. And it just wasn't appealing to me. Well, anyways, to make a long story short, I turned them down. You know, and uh, the company that I was working for, um, December of uh, 2010. They wind up, um, they wind up going out of business and laying off the whole sales floor. So I was stuck at a position on December, a uh, month before Christmas, um, to where I was unemployed. You know, it's kind of discouraging for me because I felt like at the time I was one of the top salespeople at this company, and um, you know I, I got laid off and I was kind of burned by that because I felt like I didn't do it. You know, usually you get fired from something for you, you know something that you did and you can understand it, but like you know to get laid off a month before Christmas, I was, you know, kind of kind of had an effect on me or whatnot. So I hit up my little, uh, so my Malik, I was like, hey, you know, uh, you know, is that job that you're talking about selling direct TV inside Sam's Club is still available? Cause you know, I need a, you know, I need some money fast or whatnot, you know, like uh, I've always, I have a background in sales. So, you know, I know, I, you know, just give me a product and, you know, oh teach God. me whatever, I'll make it happen, whatever, you know? So uh, he brought me on board and, um. Like I hit the floor running, and fortunately the way it happened is that he was six months ahead of me, so at the time that I was coming in, he was already getting promoted out. So I was like, okay, I'm I, I know that, I knew him personally, so I was like, if he could do it, I was like, I could do it, because I knew he didn't come into the business knowing anybody or playing, you know, politics or, you know, any of that, you know, it just was from hard work or whatnot, so I was willing to do that. Well, uh, Pete uh, actually was uh, selling clear internet. They don't have it out here, but it's an internet service that's like wireless that you can buy. It's kind of like a cell phone service thing where you go in and you buy it, you know, and it has like the little um, plugs that you put in your laptop and you can carry it around and you get the wireless signal. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I actually built websites for companies around here before I lost. I mean, it just, it's such a popular business around here that kind of slowed down for me and I had to look for another job. Too, well, so. So yeah, so he uh, so he was doing that or whatnot, and I remember he used to get excited because he was one of the better salespeople over there, and he used to do like you know five or six sales in a day or whatnot, and then I would go out and I would sell the direct TV, and I'd do three or four deals, and I'd come to his house after work, you know, and we kind of like talk about our days or whatnot, and I'd tell him like you know you know why well, I did three sales today, you know I made three hundred and sixty dollars, he'd be like I did five and I made one hundred and twenty. You know, how does that sound? You know, he, and actually, he would tell me first, like, yeah, beating his chest, like, I did six deals a day. I'm like, oh, that's cool. How much did you get paid? He's like, oh, I got paid 120. I'm like, that's cool. I did three deals a day. I got paid 360 bucks. <laughs> get excited, right? So after a couple of those conversations, he was like, you know, he was like, well, you know, the money that he was making, because they were paying him hourly and then one commission check at the end of the month, and, you know, he'd get paid one commission check of, like, seven or eight, 800 bucks and be excited about it or whatnot, right? But he was also getting paid every week like 300 bucks. You know, so they were kind of like, it just wasn't, you know, adding up or whatnot. Well, he wound up coming on board, you know, and then like um, staying in Houston or whatnot, or staying in Vegas, and I wound up getting promoted out to Houston, and then he wound up following me to Houston or whatnot. But to make a long story short, um, you know, 
uh, you know, here's a little bit of a challenge, you know, coming into it. You know, we, we, at times we didn't see eye to eye or whatnot, but the one thing that we did see in common was the opportunity. We both, we both seen it for what it was. We're like, you know, they're taking people because, you know, I'm not, um, I've never been to college. You know, I, I didn't go, you know, to business school. Um, you know, I'm not the guy that, you know, um, you know did, did the best in high school, it's probably made the best grades or, you know, any of that or whatnot. You know, I was just, uh, the one thing that we had in common where we were both willing to, to work hard. You know, we're both willing to work for it. And we've seen that. We're like, well, if they're going to give us, because you think about what it takes to start a business, right? I mean, what, what, what do you think it takes to start a business? What's the first thing that you guys need? First thing you got to have is a product. A product, right? Yeah. You got to have a product, right? <coughs> now, for one, you got to have a product that everybody, you know, uses, or you got to find some type of market or niche or something, right? So the cool thing about this company is that they provide a, a pretty quality product for you, right? DirecTV, everybody knows about DirecTV, right? What's the second thing you need when you start a business? Like you said, a startup or you got to get a loan. You got to get money, right? Mm -hmm. You know how much it costs to start like a McDonald's? Like at McDonald's, like you have to go to McDonald's University school, you know, and like they have their own like little uh, university or whatnot. But like most businesses, when you start them up, you start out in debt. Like you start out because you have to have a loan, right? You have to have revenue. You have to have some type of startup money, all right? And, and, and the, what you have to pay here is you have to pay, use your time. Your time is what you pay. Instead of having to invest money, because you have to invest something, you can't, like, you're not going to get a business for free. You have to invest something. So with the way the, the, our, our structure is set up, it's just time. Cool thing about it is that the people that were before us, you know, and the, you know, the Mike T's and the Zach Shooks and Jeremy Mosiers and, you know, these guys that, you know, like, really set the groundwork for us, they made it easy for you guys to make it to management. Like, they made it easy for you guys. They provide all the things that it usually takes to start up a business, you know, marketing, right? Because then we haven't even gotten to that. So now you got a product, now you got a loan. Now, now you got to let people know that you got this product and you, know, you got this service that you're offering or whatever, right? So now you got a market, right? And there's a lot of, you know, if you don't understand marketing, like there's a lot of things you can do wrong with that. And that could, that's why a lot of businesses go, go, out, of, go out of businesses because they don't know how to properly market. Well, guess what? Everybody knows DirecTV, right? The small mom and pop stores that we work for, Walmart, Sam's Club, Best Buy. I mean, it's, it's pretty safe to say that people know these brands as well, right? So a lot of these problems that you normally would have to start a business, they're checking off for you, right? So now you don't have to worry about marketing because guess what? They're putting us in the front of the storage where we have the opportunity to talk to everybody that comes in. What better marketing do you have? We're a live two-minute commercial, right? When you drive down the freeway and you see those billboards, you may or may not need the service, right? Right? And if you do, like, who, what are the odds that you're going to look at that billboard at the time like, oh, yeah, by the way, I do need a... You know, Lord, I mean, how many, when was, what's the last billboard you looked at? But people pay for that, right? Commercials now, what, what's the number one thing we sell? The DVR. Yeah. When's the last time you watched commercial? <laughs> right? You skipped through them. You skipped through it, right? So you figure we're a live commercial people can't miss. Right? So, um, so, so, so they, can't, turn, they can't fast forward us. We're right there in their face. Hey, how you doing today, right? Not, we're not going to get everybody. But still, you know, we have, you know, a, a pretty good shot of closing or whatnot. The point I'm trying to make or whatnot is that um, with this opportunity, they're solving a lot of problems. So i seen it. PD seen it. We're like, well, man, all these things that we probably couldn't get because I'm not going to be able to walk into a bank and, you know, not, to, not for nothing. When I started this business, credit was an issue for me, right? I didn't make the best decisions growing up. You know, I got some... Uh, some loans that I shouldn't have gotten, you know, you got a kid gets approved for some credit cards, and I was that guy that was like, I just, oh man, slide it, plastic, and didn't, didn't worry about it, right? But now, now I'm paying for it as an adult, whatever, but now I'm in a position where I can just take care of it or whatnot. But like, I'm not the guy that can go into a bank and just get a loan, right? I couldn't go down and negotiate a contract with Costco or, or, or Best Buy or Sam's Club to let me sell a service inside their store, let alone... I probably couldn't go to Direct TV and attract them as the client, right? Mm -hmm. The cool thing about what we do is that they provide all this for you guys, right? Everything that that it would take. To, so you gotta ask yourself, do I would I want to start a business, right? You know what the benefits of having a business is that I don't have to worry about getting laid off. As long as I do what I'm supposed to do, like I did at my other job, I don't have to worry about somebody pulling the plug on my operation because. You know, they're not fulfilling because everything that it would normally take to run a business, they've taken care of, everything's good. Mm -hmm. I just have to do my part. I just have to go out there and set the pace. 
the cool thing about my business is that for every person that I pass along the opportunity for, I get more money. So if I'm the most selfish person in the world, you guys are in good hands. Think about it. Because I win if you win. I'm excited. We're about to pass along the opportunity to Brandon. You know, we're gonna get we're gonna test his, you know, test his, you know, uh, him as an owner, as a manager. Can you leave the pack? It's not hard. You know, you gotta be have people skills. Leadership is just people skills. Just being able to talk to people. Sales is just people skills. That's really all it is, just communication. Are you able to communicate with somebody? You know? But you gotta think like like how bad do you want it? Like, are you the person that, like, you know, looks, sees an opportunity, is like, you know what, it seems like too much work, I don't want to do it. Are you the guy that's like, all I have to do is invest my time and my effort? You're going to do it anyway. You're going to work for somebody. Why not work for yourself? You're, you, it's not like you have enough money to retire now. That's why you're here. So you figure, if I have to work for somebody, why not have to work for myself? It's cool that I can go on vacation right now. I'm in Mississippi. I'm making money in California. It's cool that when I'm in, uh, excuse me, when I'm in Vegas, I'm making money in Mississippi. You know, last year I made $40,000 in Mississippi. I came out here twice. How long have you guys been working here? Three weeks, right? I've already made money off you guys. It's nice to meet you. And I'm not trying to chew my own horn. Oh, I understand. But by passing along the opportunity, I, now I'm in a position to where I can make money in different zip codes. I got to get chills. It's, it, that's the reality. You've been in my operation. Right. It's not just this office. I just came three hours south from Jackson. Marcel's running another operation out there. I'm about to head three hours north to Chattanooga. Guess what? Miguel's out there making money as well. And then I'm going to go back to Vegas to fly back to Dallas to see some of you guys in Dallas. Go back to Vegas and then go to California because I have two more deals out there. And I'm about to promote a deal to Yuma, Yuma Arizona. And then who knows where you guys are going to go. He's already going to Chattanooga. Get excited. Take advantage of the opportunity. It starts with, hey, quick question. When you, when you do that today, just remember that this is not what I'm here for. I'm not here. I'm not, I don't want you guys to be good at DirecTV because we're a marketing company. What if direct, we, we're, we're right now working with so many different clients, um, uh, Solar City, Bright House, Verizon, AT&T, Cox. So we, you got to just be good at people skills. Everything that we teach you. So if we replace it, yeah, it's bigger than DirecTV. DirecTV is a monster. Don't get me wrong. That's our <coughs> best client. But get good at the system. Get good at, you know, put yourself in position to work for you. Because, like, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Like, you know, there's 10% in the United States that are business owners and other 9% that work for other people. What, what, where, where do you fit in line? You know, if you feel like you're, uh, you know, that special breed that should be running operations and running your own show and work for yourself, like, we'll put you in position. The only thing we ask is that you guys, you know, you do the right thing and you invest your time, you're compliant. You know, and just, you set the pace. Like, what's the one thing you got to be able to do to play hockey? What's the one thing? So if you play hockey, what do you have to be able to do? What's the one thing? You got to be able to skate. You got to be able to skate, right? So we're running a marketing company, so it sells. You got to be able to sell, so, you know, go out there and set the pace. You're not doing it for me, you're doing it for you. Because at the end of the day, we're going to put you in a position and eventually you're going to work for yourself. Juice? Juice. You guys have any questions? No? I'm going to leave my phone number here. I'm part of uh, the reason why... I've gotten to where I'm at is by networking, you know, we're all on the same team. If you need people to network with, um, you know, that are in the same position as you are, or you want somebody who's a little bit above you, somebody you can chase, somebody you can coach, holler at me, let me know, you know, that way I can put you in line because there's somebody that's been in your shoes or, you know, that can tell you, you know, maybe... You know, we preach the same message, but just the way he says it is different from the way I say it. You know, so the, the key to this business is networking. So my phone number is up there. If you guys have any questions, feel free to call me. If you guys need somebody, to, you know, put, put you in line with to, to, to network with, you know, I definitely put you in line. Um, but take advantage. It's real. I promise you it changed my life. I started just like you guys. I'm not going to ask you to ever do anything I haven't done myself. The cool thing about it is, is that when I was getting promoted to ownership, there's things that I had to do, and I'm not trying to like say it was totally bad, because I'd do it 10 times again. But it's gotten easier, so don't get watered down. Work just as hard, because like that just means you're going to get promoted faster. How long have you been in the business, uh, Brian? Um, seven months. Seven months. So we're talking about giving you the keys to your own business? I mean, where else could you go in seven months and be able to run your own operation? Let's be real. Right? Well, how much money did you invest? 
Okay. If anything, how much is it? Well, we can invest in you, right? right? Most companies ask for money to start up a business. I don't, if anything, I'm going to give him money to be like, here, here's, I'm going to make sure I put, set you up as good as possible so that way I just, you can be the most successful so that way we can all win together. I just interviewed a guy right now who's been working for his company for 17 years at the same position and at the same pay. He's only gotten 75 cents raise in 17 years. That's like a penny a year. He's got the race. All right. Yeah. So with that being said, guys, let's go out there. Think about what we talked about. If you guys need, you know, any further coaching, feel free to help me. All right. All right. So, so today, guys, okay, it is fifteen minutes.